Hi, I'm Heather McBean and I'm the Open Education Librarian at KU Libraries. KU Libraries and the David Schulenberger Office of Scholarly Communication and Copyright are proud to announce Choi Sun as the 2024 Textbook Hero. This too, which one has a larger molar mass? Is it? I teach the uh, chemistry for engineers, so lots of my students are mechanical engineers, aerospace engineers. I also teach health science related. Chemistry probably is not their number one choice or priority for all the courses, but that's my job to make a connection with students and teach those courses. I want to introduce some uh, diversity, equity, sociology into the, my common teaching. And throughout this whole process, I get a lot of help uh, from uh, different libra librarians. They actually all email me back and forth. Uh, they see some um, diversity equity link on Twitter, they said to me. <laughs> uh, they tell me um, where I could get help for the opentext.ku. They tell me where I could get help from those technology parts. Um, so, uh, and also they shared some um, writing center information with me. So I get help from them all along. Um, technology-wise and mentally, uh, financially, of course. So all those things together help me to um, get this book done. Which one uh, give us the correct depiction? The idea of this book, right, this OER book, come from many different factors. Originally, um, I had a student, he's a PhD student in sociology. He became later become one of the author of the book. We often have those conversations about diversity, equity, and what is going on, or what is going wrong with our society, and how they actually impact our classroom negatively. So it's like, I was like, maybe we could find some ways to incorporate those subjects Subjects, right, that's usually uh, being taught heavily in um, social science or humanity, but barely get touched in STEM, could we merge them together? And also my department at that time is very keen to promote diversity, equity. So, so like, I have the full support from departments. I really want to find a way to put all those different perspectives together. So that's in the end resulting in this final product is the book that talk about all the different uh, minorities of the chemists, where they are from, from, and also their research. So we not just talk about, say, what is the hardship they go through, all the uh, injustice or injustice they experienced um, through the history. Also, we introduce their research and celebrate how important the research are and um, how big the impact they made uh, by using their research in chemistry to change our world. And that's what this book is about. You could see the what happened in our society right now and echoing what happened in the history and also how they related to different majors all together into one, two, three, four, those articles and they are all made by students. They are all selected by students. Uh, the questions are answered and tested, quizzed by students. It's like a perfect fit with everything together to make this book happen. Yeah, it's the right time, right place, right people, I'd say the textbook are insanely expensive nowadays. Um, it's semi-monopoly, I would say, right? Controlled by a few major publishing companies. So that is one of the problem for the accessible, accessibility, also equity. Um, that students from different backgrounds, they may not, not everybody could afford those expensive textbooks with a more diverse classroom, with a more diverse community, uh, with a better equity in our society, everybody will feel more comfortable to have their own voice, to talk about how they feel. But also important to me uh, as a person, because you see for me, as somebody from the LGBTQ community, as somebody as an immigrant, I'm also a first generation student, I go through lots of hardship by myself. With all this different culture, I see there's naturally going to be conflict. There's naturally going to be uh, fear when you see people from different countries, when you see people from different culture. And I go through the hardship. I know how hard to fit in.
I know how important that the diversity is to a society. I know how important to make the world a more equitable place is important. How do you make somebody feel that belong? They belong in the class. They belong to this university or belong to this community in general. It's because you have the DEI in front of it. When you pre truly appreciate the voice of everybody, when you truly give respect and value everybody's opinions, they feel they are valued, they feel they're respected, they have the diversity, equity, inclusion. That's why they feel belong.